People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Vex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. Jawara Bota Ayua Tahunga Chakanki Dora Kachikuita Hodonga Topa da Bungwalia Gando Dona no Chu. You are a fool. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brezhik. <laughs> You were restrained by a neural disruptor! How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of the Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Focus to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! <laughs> Bloody Vulcus will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Vulcans would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. I may have been a prisoner, but a Jedi is never helpless. Maybe you've heard of a little thing called the Force? But I suppose I shouldn't be too hard on you. You did try to save me, after all, even if it didn't go quite as planned. So let's get down to business. We're not out of danger yet. If I'm going to figure out a way for us to get off this planet, I need to know what kind of resources we can draw on. First, are we the only two survivors left from the Ender Spire? Karth and Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. 
Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. You cannot win, Revan. Bastila, you're alive! Finally things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? This is... it's strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. How can I help? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. I managed to free myself, as I recall. In fact, if I hadn't been there, Brezhik and his thugs might have killed you in that fight. It's probably more accurate to say that I rescued you.
I'll admit that I probably wouldn't have been able to free myself if not for the brawl under the swoop tracks. I guess I should thank you for that, at least. Actually, your presence at the swoop track is what I'm curious about. It couldn't have been an easy task to find you there, yet somehow you managed. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Vulcan prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Tara Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Yes, well, I hardly consider myself a damsel in distress. I'm a member of the Jedi Order, after all. But I won't deny you've impressed me with what you've done. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. Perhaps, but the Force works through all of us to some degree or another. There are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... I'm sorry. I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you're gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. I've got a plan to escape Taris, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this have a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom-built by Janice Nal. Just tell her Kandor is sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally, I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlon Twofinger. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taras ruling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger.
a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? Only time will tell. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious stranger. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. As a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two. Let's have a big hand for Mo. But there's always some young gun coming up to knock the veterans off. And we've got one of the best right here. I give you the mysterious stranger.
mysterious stranger has won. Marl is down and questions abound. Is this the end for the long time bet? Is it time for Marl to hang up his spurs? And what of the mysterious stranger? Twitch is waiting in the wings. Do you dare take a shot at the champion himself? Will the wild eye wonder finally be unseated? Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic. And he's the best damn duelist. But Twitch's opponent plans to take the champion down. Night after night, battle after battle, we've watched this young kingdom rise to the ranks. In this corner, the challenger for the title of Taris Dueling Champion, the Mysterious Stranger. Champ, congratulations, I guess. You know, when you started out, I actually thought I'd be able to crawl up from my last place ranking for a while. Shows what I know. Enjoy your time at the top, stranger. Sooner or later, someone will come along to knock you down here with the rest of us grinders. First, I go down to an injury. Now it looks like Marl's been dropped by old age. No room in this game for the veterans anymore, I guess. But don't get cocky, kid. One day it'll happen to you, too. Time catches up to us all sooner or later. Well, everyone except Bendix Starkiller. You're good, stranger. Maybe even as good as Bendak in his prime. There's no shame in losing to you. But when you beat me, you made me realize something, kid. First, it was just Twitch I couldn't handle. Now it's you and Twitch. Pretty soon, there'll be another young hotshot clawing past me in the rankings. This game has been good to me, but my time is done. I need to get away from the duel rings for a while. Think things over. Goodbye, stranger. I wish you all the best. 
I've never been one to shy away from the cold, hard truth, so I'll just come right out and say it. I can't compete with the likes of you, stranger. I know when I'm overmatched. You're good. Very good. But you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to warm up to you. Truth is, I really don't have anything more to say. So you might as well move on. Irish man, Irish. I heard you challenged Bendix Starkiller. I'll probably watch the fight, but forgive me if I don't go to your funeral. You're good, stranger. I'll give you that. But going up against Bendix is suicide. Even before I lost feeling in my fingers, I wouldn't have risked a death match with Starkiller. I heard you're going to fight Bendix Starkiller, stranger. I'm not one to mince words, so let me just say this. You're dead. He'll kill you. End of story. Oh, you think I'm cold and hard? Wait until you step into the ring with him. He's a natural-born killer. You had great potential, stranger. Too bad you're going to throw it all away. I love watching Ice fight. She proves this isn't just a man's game. Gerlon used to be one of the best in the game. Now he's barely better than old Dead-Eye Duncan. Ladies and gentlemen, come with me now on a journey to the savage days of years gone by, to a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one came out alive. They're illegal. They're banned. They've been outlawed for nearly 10 years, but we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned death match. In this corner, a living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive. <laughs> Out of retirement for one last battle. Bandit Star Killer. 
And who would be crazy enough to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? Who would be mad enough to face almost such a death merely for your enjoyment? Ladies and gentlemen, feast your wondering eyes on the mysterious stranger. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let the death match begin! This is great. You beat Bendik. You're a legend. Whenever anyone asks, I can say I was the first duelist the mysterious stranger ever beat in the ring. I'm gonna be famous. I don't think you had a chance against Bendik, but you sure showed me. You showed us all. Too bad your career as a duelist is over now. I mean, nobody's gonna be stupid enough to go up against you anymore. Not even Twitch. Kind of funny, isn't it? You win the big match, and you kill your career. Congratulations, stranger. I never thought anyone would beat Starkiller. Did you know it was because of him that I became a duelist in the first place? As a little girl, I used to dream of meeting him one day. When I finally did, the guy was a complete slime ball. Made me realize I had to be cold and ruthless to survive. Like him, and now he's dead. There's probably a lesson in there somewhere. Something for me to think about at least. Congratulations again, stranger, and goodbye. I never saw a death match before. I thought it would be exciting, but it was actually kind of gross. I recognize you. You're that new duelist everyone's talking about. The mysterious stranger. I never thought anyone would ever be Bendik. A hundred years from now, people will still be talking about you. Don't you know? But this is a good 